Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we'll be looking at uh, objects on an inclined plane. We see that we had an object on a flat surface that we have the x and y direction that is according to the normal Cartesian plane. But when we have an object on an incline, we see that the x and y plane is parallel and perpendicular to the incline. And when an object is on an incline, we see that there's a gravitational force acting downwards that we know. And the gravitational force can be, can be uh, resolved into its parallel and perpendicular components as we see in this diagram where we had a diagram like this, where we had our x here, w in the x direction and w in the y direction was the weight according to that. But if we take the components out and if we look at just the forces that are acting on the incline, then we see that the weight acts downwards, we have our normal force acting uh, perpendicular to the surface and we have our frictional force acting parallel to the surface and we have a maximum static frictional force, Fs max, maximum static frictional force at the point, uh, at a certain angle theta just before the object starts sliding down the slope. And what is important that when we do sums uh, and we want to work out uh, the net forces in the x and y direction, then we don't work with the weight what we will do is we will work with um, forces in the x direction and the forces in the x direction are uh, frictional force and the uh, x component of weight and the forces in the y direction will be the normal force and the y component of weight. And that's where we will stop.